let's now look at a demo that talks about setting our working units. Let's see a demonstration of how uh, you would open a DWG file and uh, look at the options uh, behind opening a DWG file. So if you notice here in the open file interface, I have a drawing, a DWG drawing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on that drawing and I'm going to go down to options. Clicking on this will now take me into the DWG open options. And uh, for today's uh, presentation, we're just going to focus on the uh, the basic options. Uh, we'll look at the more advanced options in a, in a future session. But uh, here you'll notice for the units, you have your architectural, engineering, decimal, scientific, and uh, fractional units. Now, in AutoCAD, these are what uh, we call L units um, are basically the units for measurements and for dimensions. Now, um, in most cases, you're not going to know what the units are uh, in the, the drawing file. Um, it's a safe assumption that in most cases, it's going to be in inches. So this is why you see the architectural engineering uh, units in inches. So architectural units are based on feet and inches, and it uses fractions to represent the partial uh, inches, um, you know, something smaller than an inch. Uh, it, it displays feet and inches in the format of decimal and fractions. But then uh, if you notice engineering units uh, are, are very similar to architectural units, but they represent feet and inches in the format of decimal only. Uh, so you want to be mindful of that. Um, the other units, decimal scientific or fractional units, um, those are just, once again, uh, different displays of the units. So um, by default, uh, the architectural engineering units are set to inches. And, and in most cases, you're safe to leave it set to that. Uh, now, if, if in uh, AutoCAD they have used you know, decimal, scientific, or fractional units, because we don't know what those units are, the best thing to use is to set it to uh, design-centered units. Now, you, if you're not sure, you can also uh, click here um, for the architectural and um, engineering units, and you can set that to design-centered units too. And that's just kind of a basically a safe um, bet that you, you know, now it will use what we call the design center units or the uh, insertion units. Uh, and the insertion unit specifies um, the drawing unit value uh, for the DWG. And this is for scaling of blocks, images, and XREFs that are brought into uh, the DWG file in AutoCAD. So uh, going through, uh, you also have your DGNC file. Uh, we have uh, seed files that, that we deliver, and uh, their location can be found here under C program files, Bentley, uh, the MicroStation Connect Edition, MicroStation default uh, seed uh, folder if you install MicroStation in the default location. But now you can also... Uh, specify your own custom seed file for opening your DWG files. And you want to think of it like this. There are certain settings that uh, you store in a MicroStation design file uh, that cannot be stored in a um, DWG file. So if you set up your custom seed file, you can have those settings stored in that seed file. Um, that can be read when opening a DWG file. Uh, and once again, we'll talk more about that in a future uh, session. But um, by default, uh, usually you're going to use either, um, you know, the Trans-C DGN or, you know, in some cases, if you want to have it be 2D, because in, in AutoCAD, there's really not a 2D file or a 3D file. But now you also have some additional settings for that. So for the model space, which would kind of be like the default model uh, in a DGN file, 
you can set that to be 2D, and you can also uh, set the color. So by default, it's set to black. But uh, you can go in, of course, and adjust that color if you want. If you want the white background. And then for paper space, paper space, you can make a 2D sheet. Or you can have a 3D sheet. But you can specify that it be a 2D sheet. And then, once again, you can set that color as well. So these are your uh, your options when you go uh, to open a DWG file. You simply click on OK once those are set. And now you're ready to click and open your DWG file. Now, just to continue our DWG options, uh, AutoCAD uh, uses uh, insertion units, as I mentioned, and these are just the insert, uh, the in, uh, INS units that you see. And this is a value that is used in storing, drawing, or scaling of blocks, uh, references, or images. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.